Hi, I'm Caitlin, Dermstore's Community Manager. Today we're going to talk about one of the most important steps in any skincare routine, exfoliation. Exfoliating is a way to remove dead skin cells from the top layer of your skin, and it's one of the best steps you can add to any skincare routine. It removes dead skin cells on the surface of your face, brightens your complexion, lets your serums and moisturizers absorb better, clears your pores, and accelerates cell turnover. There are two types of exfoliation, physical and chemical. Both of these help improve skin texture and tone, but choosing between the two is really a matter of personal preference and what your skin can tolerate. So here's how to properly exfoliate using both methods so you can choose which one you prefer. Physical exfoliants use abrasive, yet gentle, ingredients or tools to smooth and refine the skin. You could do this with a cleansing brush, sponge or towel, or with a facial scrub. Most facial scrubs contain ingredients like biodegradable microbeads or sugar to physically displace dead skin cells. Here's how to use a facial scrub. First, start by washing your face with your regular cleanser. Then take about a quarter size amount of your face scrub and apply it onto your face in circular motions. Just avoid the eye area. Gently massage the product onto your skin for about 30 to 60 seconds. Remember to keep your movements light though because your exfoliant is already doing the work for you. Once you've got all your areas covered, rinse off with warm water and then gently pat your skin with a clean towel and follow with your regular skincare routine. You can do this once a week or even up to three times as long as your skin can tolerate it. Chemical exfoliants use ingredients like glycolic acid, salicylic acid, or fruit enzymes to loosen up dead skin cells and stimulate cell turnover. You can find many different forms of chemical exfoliants to suit your preference. These include peel pads, liquid exfoliants, and peel masks. Peel pads are probably the easiest method of exfoliation to add into your routine. After cleansing, simply remove one of the pre-moistened pads from the container and swipe across your face. Just avoid the eye area. You can even swipe the pads onto your neck, chest, and the back of your hands afterward. Wait for the product to get fully absorbed for about a minute or two, and then follow up with your regular skincare routine. If you're using a liquid exfoliant, dispense a dime-sized amount onto a cotton ball or pad, and then use it as you would a peel pad. Some liquid exfoliants and peel pads are designed for everyday use, but some are not. So remember to follow your package directions and use them as directed. Also, as a general rule, when you're starting out or switching to a stronger product, start with once a week and then gradually work your way up. Peel masks are a little different. After cleansing, you want to use your fingers or an applicator brush to apply an even layer across your whole face. Avoid the eye area again. Leave on for as long as directed, usually about five or 10 minutes, and then remove with a warm water and a washcloth. Pat your skin dry and then follow with your regular skincare routine. As with the pads, directions for these types of exfoliants may vary, so always check your product label and use it as directed. Before applying to your whole face, it's also a good idea to patch test just to make sure your skin can tolerate it. If you experience any adverse reactions, rinse it off immediately. And if the irritation doesn't go away or if it gets worse, it's time to call your dermatologist. And there you have it, how to properly exfoliate your skin using physical or chemical exfoliants. Have you tried exfoliating before? Do you have a favorite exfoliant? What questions do you have for us? Just reach out to us in the comments below. Thanks for watching.